What do you mean it's illegal to take my gun apart and clean it and reassemble it? Well, I'm going to address that on this episode of Guns and Gadgets. Guys and gals, thank you so much for your time. I appreciate each and every single one of you. I've heard your comments. I've seen it out there uh, about the post I put up where it was actually mirroring GOA's post that uh, the HR 7910, the Protecting Our Kids Act, would criminalize taking your gun apart and re-putting it back together. And people were like, no, it won't. It doesn't say that in there. In fact, if, let me just read it. Requirement that all firearms be traceable. Section 921 Alpha of Title 18 of the USC is amended in this act. First one here in paragraph 10 by adding at the end the following. This is where we all need to pay attention. The term manufacturing firearms shall include assembling a functional firearm or molding, machining, or 3D printing a frame or receiver. And shall not include making or fitting special barrels, stocks, or trigger mechanisms to firearms. And I've heard everybody, it says it right here, I can put a barrel, uh, a stock, or a trigger mechanism. Let's keep going, guys, because this is something that you need to understand how politicians work, and they word things a specific way for a reason. The next line. Two, by adding at the end the following. 38, the term ghost gun, and this is where they're looping a lot of stuff in. A, means a firearm including a frame or receiver that lacks a unique serial number engraved or cast on the frame or receiver by a licensed manufacturer or importer in accordance with this chapter. But does not include, one, a firearm that has been rendered permanently inoperable, two, a firearm that, not later than 30 months after the date of enactment of this paragraph, has been identified by means of a unique serial number assigned by a state agency, engraved or cast onto the receiver or frame of the firearm in accordance with state law, three, a firearm manufactured or imported before December 6, 1968, four, uh, a firearm identified and as provided for under the section 5842 of the Internal Revenue Code of 1986. And there is one of the major problems. If you don't have, say, your slide of your insert gun here, if it's not serialized, guys and gals, it is being considered a ghost gun part. This is a ghost gun ban. If it's a ghost gun part, and this section of this omnibus bill makes ghost guns and ghost gun parts illegal, that's where the problem comes in. If you don't think that these people would uh, would not interpret it that way to better their cause, to reach their end goal, you're, you're just not paying attention. Let's continue. 39, the term fire control component means a component necessary for the firearm to initiate or complete the firing sequence and B, includes the hammer, bolt, or breech block, cylinder, trigger mechanisms, firing pin, striker, and slide rails. 40. A. The term frame or receiver means the part of the weapon that provides or is intended to provide the housing or structure to hold or integrate one or more fire control components even if pins or other attachments are required to connect those components to the housing or structure. 2. Includes the frame or receiver, blank, casting, or machine body that requires modification including machining, drilling, filing, or molding to be used as a part of a functional firearm and which is designed and intended to be used in the assembly of a functional firearm unless the piece of material has had one, its size or external shape altered solely to facilitate transportation or storage, and two, solely its chemical composition altered. B, for the purpose of subparagraph A, if a weapon with more than one part that provides the housing or the structure designed to hold or integrate one or more fire control or essential components, which is almost every pistol nowadays, modular pistols and striker fire guns and ARs and stuff like that, each part shall be considered a frame or receiver unless the Attorney General has provided otherwise by regulation and other formal determination with respect to the specific make and model of weapon before January 1 of 2023. So if you have a gun like we just described, which most guns are just like that, each of those part, the frame and receiver, are supposed to be serialized. And if you don't do it like it said in the law, then it's going to be considered a ghost gun part. Ghost guns and ghost gun parts will be made illegal if this passes the Senate. I don't think it will, but we're going to keep watch on it. That would prevent you from taking your gun apart and reassembling it because then you're building a ghost gun, which this is banning because those parts are not serialized. Prohibition. Except as provided in subparagraph B. It shall be unlawful for any person to manufacture, sell, offer to sell, transfer, purchase, or receive a ghost gun in or affecting interstate or foreign commerce. Subparagraph A shall not apply to the manufacturer of a firearm by licensed manufacturer. If the licensed manufacturer complies with section 923I before selling or transferring the firearm to another person. 
Everything has to be serialized. Two, the offer to sell, sale, or transfer of a firearm to or purchase or receipt of a firearm by a licensed manufacturer or importer before the date that is 30 months after the date of enactment of this subsection or transactions between licensed manufacturers and importers on any date. Now I hear you. I get it. Jared, I'll just throw a serial number on it. Wink, wink, nod, nod. Keep going. It shall be unlawful for a person other than a licensed manufacturer or importer to engrave or cast a serial number on a firearm in or affecting interstate or foreign commerce unless specifically authorized by the Attorney General. So I hope this clarified. It probably didn't. So let me do a quick summary here. HR 7910 would regulate commonly unserialized gun parts like upper receivers on an AR-15 as a ghost gun. Why? Because it's an unserialized frame or receiver that houses one or more fire control components. Then, H.R. 7910, like we went over, prohibits anyone from manufacturing a ghost gun, even though manufacturing firearms includes anyone disassembling, cleaning, and then assembling common guns back into a functional firearm. So the bill defines manufacturing as assembling a functional firearm. And if it's not all these parts that are not serialized like it demands, well then you're assembling and manufacturing a ghost gun. And that is where the problem comes, guys and gals. This is verbiage uh, very similar to the ATF's new rule here codified into HR 7910. And they're just counting on people not to pay attention to this stuff. But by the letter of the law, if this were to pass, breaking your gun down and then building it back together if it doesn't into a functional firearm, if it does not have these parts that they're saying need to be serialized, you just built a ghost gun. And that's what they're saying in this bill. I hope this helps everybody. I try my best to make sure everything I put out has been checked, triple checked, verified, and it's on point. And when you read this bill, if you read it uh, with an, uh, a legal mind, reading it as it's written and what the intent is, if you break your gun down, if you go to field strip and clean your gun and you put it back together and certain things aren't serialized the way they demand in this, you just manufacture it or go scale it illegally if this law goes into effect. And you wouldn't be able to put a, any uh, serialized numbers on it. It would have to be a licensed manufacturer or an importer. So there it is. I know uh, GOA has been getting hammered on this too. Guys, they, they know what they're talking about. They, they know what you're talking, they're talking about. And these are some things you need to talk about when you call your representatives. Links are down below. And until we see each other again, be safe, stay vigilant, carry a gun to keep you, your friends, your family, your community safe. Keep it clean. Make sure you field strip it and lubricate it. And we're going to stop this BS too. Take care.